my friends welcome back to little blessed nest my name is stephanie if you're new here in today's video we're going to be doing something fun we're going to get outside in the sunshine and plant some flowers i'm also going to take you with me to the little amish nursery in fairview that i go to every year they have done an expansion there and it is so nice i almost felt like i was back in florida like all the different plants and the smells it was just it was so relaxing just walking through there but i love doing that anyway anytime i'm having like a blah day i can go to lowe's or wherever and walk around the garden section and it just automatically lifts my spirits for some reason just all the pretty flowers and the birds are always chirping in there it's so nice highly recommend that last year i was going more for a cottagey feel on the patio i did like some pastel pinks and whites and some light purples and things like that but this year I really got inspired while I was on vacation I loved all the bright pinks and yellows and blues and purples so I'm going for that vibe this year let's just make it fun kind of tropical and you know just an oasis or old aces if you know you know um so yeah i'm so excited to get out there and get started i have a few plants that i'm wanting that i haven't found yet i have been to lowe's i've been to tractor supply and um today we're going to the market in fairview so i got a few things in mind that i'm wanting to get and hopefully i'll find them today but if not i have made myself realize that it's okay to just add on as I go I don't have to do it all at once and that's that's kind of a weakness of mine when it comes to doing flowers and stuff I want to get it all at one time and I can overdo it and then have flowers everywhere that I have to plant and then I get overwhelmed <laughs> that's the story of my life though I stress myself out needlessly all the time every day all day <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to do that today but I make no promises I purchased these two big hanging pots from Lowe's. I thought they were so pretty and they really give me that tropical feel that I'm going for this year. You can see Riley here in the background. He's very curious about what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so I decided to go ahead and split this in two because I wanted to plant some white ones in here as well. And I'm hoping this will help them like mix together um, when they spread out and grow. And I think I'm gonna put these on the patio over like in the new section that we built. I think it'll be really pretty over there um, by that furniture. And I have a little stand to set one of them on so it kind of elevated a little bit. I'll show you guys that um, when I'm finished here. I'm not sure if this is where they'll stay, but I'm just gonna put them here for now until I get everything together. One thing I started planting in pots is herbs. They're relatively cheap. They're green, they're beautiful, and they grow quickly, and they smell good. So if you've never planted herbs in your flower beds, I suggest you give it a try. I've seen multiple videos on YouTube where people did this, and it looked so good. So I have some pots, like terracotta kind of pots, over here, and I'm gonna fill them with some herbs. I went ahead and took a break from planting to come out and check out the country barn here. This is where I come in the fall and in the spring to get beautiful flowers. So cool. You can not only come here for your flowers and things like that, but they also have like sort of like a little market where you can get fresh vegetables and fruit and homemade baked goods and things like that. And also they make homemade pizzas um hand dipped ice cream subs salads and now they have little sitting areas for you to sit and enjoy it so it's a nice little place if you want to come get some flowers and have a little lunch or some ice cream with your kids um, i highly recommend it like i said it's in fairview kentucky it's just a little spot on the map kind of between elkton and hopkinsville this is such a quiet peaceful place i love coming here and looking at all the plants i also love looking at all of the flowers that they put together and arrangements and pots and stuff it's really interesting to see what plants they put together um and it all turns out so beautifully things that i never would have thought to put in the same pot <laughs> but um i really love how they mix it all together 
they did an expansion here from last year and I couldn't believe how different it looks. Um, it looks so good. They have so much more to choose from now and um, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful walking around here and it's such a beautiful day. The birds are singing, there's a breeze in the air and I almost feel like I'm still in Florida. <laughs> I always pick up some red geraniums every spring for my mom to put in her flower boxes out on her porch. She loves red geraniums. I thought this basket would be really pretty for Memorial Day or 4th of July with the red, white, and blues. I believe I planted some flowers like these last year in some pots because I really thought it was cool how it had these gold specks at the end of them. They're very pretty. I also really liked these blue flowers. They're such a pretty color. Hey guys, before I get back to planting flowers, I wanted to talk to you about today's sponsor, Body Restore. Body Restore offers shower steamers that last up to 10 minutes and provide a relaxing shower experience. I've been hearing people talk about using bath bombs for years, but as somebody who only has a shower, I kind of felt left out, like I couldn't use those. And until recently, I hadn't really heard much about shower steamers, so I was really super excited when I started seeing it show up on social media. I saw uh, people on YouTube talking about it, people on Instagram talking about it, and I, had, I wondered, like, are they really as good as people say they are? Well, I'm here to tell you they are. <laughs> They smell so good. When you're placing your Body Restore shower steamer in your shower, make sure you put it kind of off to the side. Don't put it in the direct stream of the water because that's going to make it dissolve really quickly. And if you want to get the full use of it, you put it to the side, you will be able to enjoy it for the full 10 minutes that it is meant to be used. And um, this is the Citrus Grove. I'd have to say right now, this one is probably my favorite. I just love the citrusy smell. It also has a bit of a floral scent to it. It just reminds me of vacation. Body Restore sent me their collector's box and two bags of the Relief shower steamers. And I really like these when my allergies are acting up and I'm getting kind of stuffy. Throw one of these in the shower and it really helps to open things up and it can breathe better and it just smells so good. These give you that refreshing spa experience. Like if you go to a spa, I would expect to smell something like this. You guys know I love animals, so I really appreciate that these are not tested on animals. I also appreciate that they're paraben free, SLS free, and they have no talc in them, which is also great. Here's what I'm thinking. This would make such a great gift idea for Mother's Day, for somebody who's expecting a baby, a birthday gift for a special girlfriend, or just any gift really. How fun would it be to maybe make a little gift basket with a loofah, maybe a candle, um, different things that you would use in the bathroom and wrap it up in a nice gift basket. I think that would be a hit for sure. I'm probably gonna do that actually. There are 30 different tablets and 10 different scents. I've already used quite a few of mine. I wanted to try them all out before I shared them with you. Really, really love the Jasmine one. I'm a big fan of Jasmine and it just smells so good. For me, after I've been out in the sun all day, working in the yard, there's nothing that feels better at the end of the day than getting into a hot shower and putting one of these in there and then the smell like envelops you. <laughs> it's just, it's so good. And not only does it envelop you, but when you get out of the shower, you still smell it in the bathroom and in the bedroom and it's just, I just breathe it in. You guys can also relax, refresh, and emerge re-energized with Body Restore Shower Steamers. All you have to do is go to the link in my description box and use my promo code LBN20OFF for 20% off the collector's box. That's LBN20OFF for 20% off the collector's box. Hey guys, so it is a new day. I'm gonna finish planting all of these plants that I got. I'm gonna start with the elephant ears. I had some here last year, but they didn't come back for whatever reason. I don't know. I would think they should, but they didn't. They kind of rotted in the ground. So if any of you have any tips on how to keep these <laughs> coming back every year so I don't have to keep buying them because I really liked them. They got huge and were really pretty. 
Um, so I'm just going to dig up this old one and plant the new ones. I'm using a bucket here to shovel the excess dirt into because I'm trying very hard not to get dirt mixed into my gravel on my patio. I did recently order some mulch glue that I had told you guys about before. Supposedly you can spread it over the gravel and it'll kind of like bind it together so it's not loose and then you can blow stuff off of it with a leaf blower. So that is my goal coming up soon. I do need to get another load of gravel and help level out the patio a little more before I do that. So that will be in an upcoming project. And then I'm also going to put it on the mulch as well to do the same for it. Ew. You can see Rosie's back here in the window as always. She likes to sit there and watch me when I'm out here on the patio. So I did go ahead and plant my plants that I got to put in my raised bed um, just because I was running out of time the other day and my battery went dead on my camera and I wanted to make sure I went ahead and got them planted. But I put some yellow flowers towards the back. I like to put taller ones in the back of the planter and then all the ones that I planted in the front will get bigger and eventually I think it'll look good together. I did yellows and like a bright pink and purples or blue actually it's like a blue almost a purple but a dark blue I think it's gonna look really pretty little Sophie was here earlier and she wanted to help me but she didn't want to get dirty so I just had her hold the plants for me and I wanted to add these Cosmos in with it as well I have never had Cosmos before I don't even know if I'd seen them before but I this is becoming one of my new favorites they're so pretty and I planted some in a metal uh, like bucket as well. And I really like how that turned out. But yeah, little Sophie's a big help. She's such a cutie. Well, this is one that came back from last year. I don't remember what this is called, but it gets these little pink flowers on it. It's a lot bigger than it was last year, so it's doing well. This is a hydrangea bud. And this one is the same as the other pink one it's not doing as well for some reason i'm not sure what's going on here it looks like something's been eating on it or something well we got to put these pots over there and take them and put them on the patio yeah but this one is too big that one's too big you don't think we can pack that one well i can pack it with you you can pack it with me yeah you want to help me yeah you're, a, you're such a good helper it's pretty heavy. Maybe we should just pack these little ones. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Well, what about the, about the big one? Yeah. Um, I can get that one. Okay. You help me with these little ones? Yeah. Okay. I planted some yellow dahlias in this pot, and Sophie wanted to help me carry it. It was super heavy, so I packed it over there and then helped her, let her help me place it. And she was very happy and excited about that. <laughs> she said, like I said, I don't want to get dirty. <laughs> I bought these little hanging containers at the dollar store a while back for, I think, $1.25. And I thought they would be so cute hanging on my fence. And I planted some petunias in there, some super petunias. So I've reached a stopping point for today, but I have a lot more to do out here on the patio. I need to get some more mulch and fill in places that need it. Also, I'm going to get another load of gravel to put in here before I put the mulch glue on it. So I am wrapping it up for the day. This is how it's turned out so far. I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna do more work on the other side coming up soon. This is like a work in progress for the next month or so at least. So stay tuned if you like watching patio content. But I wanna thank you all so much for being here today. Thank you for all your support and love on my channel. Um, it just means the world to me as always. And I hope you enjoyed this video.